Spike, a great day to go fly. Ignition sequence start. Five, four, three, two, one. We have a liftoff. Zion Williamson slamming it home. Get used to that. As they say, that's going to be on SportsCenter. Handling the ball and finishing again. Man, oh man. Like I said, just watch. Yeah. Here come the Blue Devils. Barrett lays it up. Williamson throws it down. Williamson. Okay guys, welcome back to another video. So today we are going to be discussing um, how to improve your ability to dunk a basketball. And this is a very underrated exercise that not a lot of people um, take advantage of, and that is the trap bar deadlift. Before we get into the rest of this video, I hope you guys enjoyed the Zion Williamson highlights from the beginning. He's an absolute beast. Obviously he's a physical specimen. Um, he's a once in a generational talent. And it was a little baity to get you guys to watch the video, but you may not be able to dunk as thunderous as he can. He's like the highest level, but you'll definitely be able to dunk a basketball. And eventually, you know, if you work hard enough, you may be able to, you know, get as high as he can. But anyway, back to the video. Um, just did a warm up set. So a few things to get into with the trap bar deadlift. It is... It offers a few more benefits than the conventional deadlift that a lot of people um, tend to use. First things first, I feel as if it is, it is much safer on your back. Um, traditional deadlift kind of allows people to get into a ba bad form a little bit easier. Um, with this, it allows you, to, allows you to get more of a hinge. And you see me supersetting with a... Um, with box jumps, that's to work on my explosion um, after I already lifted some heavy weights. But that's getting into some things that I'm not really um, going to reach on. And it's also just to get my heart rate up, a little bit of cross training in this workout. We're going back to the trap bar. Not only is it safer on your back, it's, easy, it's also an easier learning curve. Um, oftentimes, people can't get the proper... Um, form down when they're grabbing a traditional bar um, and they don't know how to you know work their bag how to get the hinge the trap bar kind of forces you into that, into that position um, I'm using the lower handles because I'm not six foot three so I don't need to use the, the tall handles and it gets me down to that proper height that a traditional um, deadlift would be at um, so a few things we know so far it's easier on your back it's safer um, and it also offers an easier learning curve. Now, you see me going really heavy here, and that's because the heavier the weight, the more muscle I'm gonna build, right? The bigger muscles are gonna come in, and that's gonna all help with the explosion, going back to the whole thing with dunking. You have to be able to explode off the ground, right? So you have to increase your deadlift, and you have to increase the weight with your sets and reps. You also see me using a little bit of chalk here, and that is just to improve with the grip. I end up using um, some gain sports gear grips later in the video, but primarily I was using some chalk. Um, and I'm doing my best to just control the weight, really let my glutes get activated. And you see like my quads are flexed, my calves are flexed, um, my lats are super engaged, standing up nice and tall and flexing at the top and then dropping the weight. So. I don't play basketball. I have really small hands. I'm 5'10". I'm a football guy. But with that, I'm able to touch rim and touch high on the backboard just off of a vertical. And even with a running start, I can I can grab rim. So I don't have any clips of me dunking a basketball or attempting to dunk a basketball. Maybe if this video gets like 40 views, I'll do a basketball video. <laughs> That'll be pretty fun for you guys to see. But I can touch rim. Um, I can get pretty much way above it, um, my, my whole hand. 
Um, so this is something that definitely helped me. I'm not a natural basketball guy. I don't have a naturally high bounce, but being at 5'10", I can still touch rim. Um, and definitely not anywhere as close to Zion, but exercises like these have definitely helped me um, as I've gotten older and gotten more into fitness. So hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. It's basically me going up in weight and doing more box jumps. Um, want to thank you guys for tuning in. It's been a while since I posted a video. I think it's been about a week, but I'm going to try to get more video ideas. And thank you guys for all the continued support. Any specific topics, leave them in the comment section. Drop a like, subscribe, follow me on my social media, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.